What's up guys, Sal here. So remember a few days ago, I made a video saying it's time for Apple to make a foldable smartphone. Well, technically Apple already has two foldables, the iPhone 6 and the iPad Pro. Oh! <laughs> Jokes aside, it's been well known at this point that Apple has been working on a foldable smartphone behind closed doors and we have a new patent published by Apple that reveals some of the plans of the company on how they want to take on this foldable genre. You see, for now, the biggest drawback of foldable smartphones is their displays. Even though Samsung is using ultra-thin glass on their foldables, but the current implementation gets scratched at level 2 with deeper grooves at level 3. Most importantly, it scratches with the fingernails. Samsung is avoiding this to a certain degree by installing a self-healing screen protector on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And it looks like that's exactly what Apple has in store for their foldable phones as well, albeit it's gonna be a little more advanced than that. According to a newly granted patent, Apple is developing a self-healing display cover, allowing the device to repair dents or scratches covering the screen. The patent explains that this cover layer may include a layer of elastomer that can lose and regain its shape to keep the sensitive inner workings of a device protected. Additionally, the patent says this self-healing layer would use heat, light, or electric current to repair itself, which means it happens automatically such as when the device is being charged or on a predetermined schedule. So in theory, this makes the foldable smartphones much less susceptible to damage and increases the durability of their handsets. Now, this technology isn't new by any means. In fact, it has been implemented in a smartphone seven years ago in 2013 by LG on LG G Flex. Of course, it was implemented on the back side of the phone rather than the front. And surprisingly, the scratches go away in a matter of minutes. It doesn't completely remove them, but apparently makes the marks almost invisible to the naked eye. If the scratch is deep enough, as in made by a sharp object such as a knife, then the material doesn't remove the scratch completely, but makes it appear far less visible than it would on a regular phone. So good to know Apple is working on something similar. Like I've said, Samsung's foldable smartphones already have this material in the form of a screen protector, but it's very thin and isn't as advanced as LG's self-healing material. But I'm positive with time the technology is gonna get better and fingers crossed for that. By the way, Apple has already placed a large order with Samsung Display for providing foldable samples for at least one year. Going by the claim from Ice Universe, Apple tested out those sample units and ordered a fresh batch of foldable display samples from Samsung. So Apple is surely working on a foldable smartphone and that's a great thing for the foldable genre. But like I've said in my last video, it's time for Apple to launch a foldable smartphone already. I mean, Samsung is already into a third generation with their foldable phones and I don't think Apple has any reason to delay releasing one to the public. But knowing Apple, it's almost certain that they are gonna wait for a few more years when the technology is fully matured and when the risk factor is almost zero, they'll come up with a foldable smartphone and you know the rest. To be honest, Apple has the potential to make the foldable phones better than Samsung software-wise because they own the iOS platform, something Samsung doesn't have the privilege with Android. Of course, with that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.